Testing, testing. Okay, I'm on now. This is the last video before I go on this vacation. We'll only be going a couple of days, so it's not a real vacation. So this is the state of man. How does the mind of one person work? How do you think or come up to the thoughts that you think with? What, what, what brings that into your mind, what you actually want to do? How do you want to say what you say before you say it? What makes you say the things that you say? So right now I want to be real quick about some of the things that I perceived and I've seen in people. There are some people that, you know, just chill out because they want to chill out or, or do what they think they want to do. What makes them think that they're in the point where they can just do anything that they want to do? First of all, the average person may just think that life itself is slower, slower than the other person's. Slower. Slower. It's like it's not actually slower. Some things are actually faster than you think they are. When we notice certain things, it's not until after they've happened. So how can we obviously believe that we're the first to hear about something or the first to know about a situation? You're not the first to know about something unless you're right there when you first see it happen. If you're right wing. If you're right wing, like you said. <laughs> there are some people who understand before the whole story is done. I was watching news today and then, you know, these people were saying one thing and then there was some on trial show on earlier today. This guy was on trial for something, and the lady says, yes, he thinks just like Scott Peterson. How can you understand how one person thinks when you've only seen him sitting in the courtroom based on how many days you've watched his trial? How do you know how Scott Peterson thinks when you weren't in the courtroom or in Scott Peterson's life? How can people make the judgment call to where to say this guy is just like Charles Manson without being in Charles Manson's courtroom or in Charles Manson's house while Charles Manson was growing up. How can you make generalizations about one person or another? This is the state of man. How do we think about ourselves based on how other people think about us? What makes us think one way or the other about one race or the other or one sex or the other? Is that your girlfriend or your baby's mama? What's the difference? Whose life is it, yours or mine? If I'm living in my bedroom, why does anything that I do affect you and yours? And take that into consideration. Life itself is fucked up and then you have people telling you what you should and should not do in your life. But if you don't live in my household, how can you tell me how to live? If I drink a beer and I tell my son don't drink beer, who are you to say I shouldn't drink in front of my son when on every commercial and every TV show you show him how to drink and smoke a cigarette? Please. You can only teach somebody from your perspective. And when you teach people from what you think that you believe is right, you're wrong. How can I tell you that you're wrong in the way you teach people? It's simple. Now, if you didn't teach me anything in my 40 years on this planet, how in the hell can you tell me to teach my child any way or the other? When there's people younger than me, just as old as I am, and don't understand what's going on right from wrong. Where is the logic in what you teach? Hmm. I'm going to ask a friend of mine right here to sit here and tell you what he learned from the California system. Nothing. And what life is about. Come <laughs> sit down right I, here I, I, and tell, tell California what you learned. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a very good uh, photogenic a, type person. You've never been photogenic. I got photogenic. buck teeth. I got one eye. <laughs> see, just because you have buck teeth and one eye, that don't mean America can't see you. There's more pe people out there with buck teeth and one eye than's ever seen on TV. People don't understand that. They won't show people that they consider ugly or not the norm because they're not what they want you to try to be. As long as you're trying to be something that you're not, they're happy. They're satisfied. But once again, who are they? They are the people that control us. They are the people that make us want to buy TV, buy cable, and it's four dollars and sixty-five fucking cent gas. I know every time I say a video, the price of the gas goes up. So when the price of the gas goes up, what do you say? Hello. Yes, you say hello, and all you can do is say hello. I'll pay you what you need for this fucking gas. Mm -hmm. But that's all you got. All you have is the will to say oh, yes awesome. and to conform you, to awesome. exactly what people <laughs> want you to do. That's what you do. 
You do exactly <laughs> what they tell you to do. And you feel like that, and you're happy to accept it. You take it. You take it in full stride, and you say, you know what? I'm going to embrace your $4 worth of gas. I'm going to take... I'm going to take your $4.80 worth of gas and accept it. Now, don't you think that we as a people should not accept what they're going to give us and just take it? Mr. S, what do you say about the gas? What? What do you say about the gas prices? I say the gas prices are atrocious. 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 Atrocity. It's atrocity. Atrocious is even worse than atrocious. It is. It's fucked up. No, it's horrible, man. It's, we're paying for, we're sucking on these gas barons weenies like it's the thing to do. It's like that's stupid. We are that's American crazy. citizens. If we got our own gas, our own oil, why are we sucking on the next guy's oil pipe? Exactly. Why do we have to bow down and get on our knees, close our eyes, when George let Bush the tear drop and take it? Because someone else wants to make money. We have the technology in this country to uplift America. We need to have a war on gas. You know? A war on gas. What is a war on gas? Uh, war on gas. A war on gas. We need a war a on gas. gas. War, you mean like a we're already doing that. So that's what we're, we're already no, not a war for gas. A war on gas. The war out in the Middle East is making these gas That's prices. Where the biofuels come Yeah, in. they're making these gas prices high, high because of the war. That's where electric cars So we in. need a war on gas. In other words, yo, let the rest let Ch let China fight for that oil. Let 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 other countries fight for that oil and then we can go ahead and have this electrical shit that nobody can fuck with on the planet of the earth. That's what I'm saying. The planet of the earth. Understand what I'm saying? The planet of, of the, earth. the earth. Where human beings can control their own fate. You know, why is it that we are supposed to have these reptilians guiding us? You know what? I don't give a damn if a leader is a, li a, li a lizard or whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. All I know is this. In this country, we need to be taken care of by whoever leads us. Whatever leads us. We need to be taken care of. We need to be number one in America. And if we're not, then we just here. I'm not just here for the sake of being here. I'm here because I've been born here. I, I was bred here. I was made here made in America. People fail to realize, to understand that we need. So, I go from one end to the other. Aliens, everything. Got the whole thing all in one video. And nobody can tell me nothing. Because what? This is Delonzo show. No. Just call him Jay. So, think about life itself. Think about what you've been taught, think about what you've learned, think about what you want, and think about what you need. And understand this, if we can't take care of each other, then nobody's taken care of. Nobody gets nothing, nothing from nothing to leave nothing, and if I keep on going on and on and on, then I'll be talking for nothing. On vacation, live from the scene, Yeah. Mr. S, Mr. J, Mr. D. Everybody here with me. This is the summit. <laughs> the summer the of summer. love, baby. Up at Bohemian Grove. <laughs> Bohemian Grove. We're up at Bohemian Grove <laughs> with the big airplanes flying by us. So please, understand this one thing. If I can't give you nothing and I have nothing to offer you, all I have is one last saying I can ever say. There's only one thing I can do from this on, this moment on, this like one point, this one point, this one second, this one time in life, this one minuscule moment in this existence in which we live. All I have is this one thing to say. I'm about to enjoy this vacation and you know what I'm going to say, man. Why don't you say it for me? Why, why don't you say it for me? Why don't you tell him? Why don't you tell him? <laughs> You officially have been tubed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that works, baby.